All right, on the second section of constructions, we're going to construct perpendicular lines. So I want you to recall when we had to bisect a segment. So when we bisected a segment, we placed our compass, this is the one we just finished doing, we placed our compass on one of the endpoints and we made the setting of the compass more than halfway, okay? So about right there, okay? Remember, three quarters is always a good idea. And so then I'm going to draw an arc. And then without changing that setting, I'm going to come over here to the other endpoint and draw that same size arc so that they intersect. And so then all I wanted to do was get my ruler and draw the midpoint, right? But this time, I want you to notice if I draw the whole entire line, which I didn't do that earlier, then what I have there is a, that red line is perpendicular to that segment, okay? So this is one way to construct perpendicular lines, one that you already know, okay? So this con construction is also a perpendicular bisector, okay? Perpendicular bisector, because not only does it bisect the segment right there at that midpoint, okay, but it also has a line that is perpendicular, meaning creating 90 degree angles, okay? So that's perpendicular. Um, bisector. Let me show you a different way. This is a this way down here on the bottom is four steps on how you can construct a perpendicular to a line through a point not on the line. So I'm going to walk you through the four steps and then we're going to try it on our own. So step one says draw an arc, okay, with center A, meaning place your compass at the point the one that we want the line to go through, and then draw an arc so that it uh, intersects the line twice, okay? So I'm gonna highlight those two points, okay? And where's my highlighter? Here we go. Here's the two points that they're talking about, okay? We have this one right here and that one right there, okay? And you'll notice over here, it says draw an arc, Draw an arc where your uh, center is at B. So it's like this is point B and this is point C. Okay, so that point right here where it intersects the line will be B and that one will be C. So if you place your compass at B and you make this arc below, that would be step two. And then without changing your compass setting, okay, draw an arc at center C. So now you're going to place your compass over at C make that same arc. And so you want to see those two arcs intersect. And where those two arcs intersect, that's where you're going to connect your ruler from the point to there, okay? And so you'll end up with something like this. So you can see that is perpendicular right there, okay? So I'm looking for three arcs here on this one. So let's practice that down here. It says construct a perpendicular line to line M, and it goes through that given point. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is place our compass on the point. Okay, so get a compass setting. We don't, not, don't get a compass setting yet. Just place it on there. So I'm going to show you an easy way to get this done. Place your compass setting to where it's not really large because if you'll rotate it, you'll see that it's not going to cross it twice. It's only going to cross it once. So when you place your compass right here, I want you to make the setting kind of close to that line. So then when you kind of want to rotate it, see if it'll cross it twice. And so in this case, it does. All right. And then just to kind of be sure that you remind yourself that these points are important. I would label this point um, A and this one B, okay? Because you need to place your compass at A and B, 
All right, I think they use different letters up top in the instructions, but I'm just gonna label this A and B. Now place your compass at A, meaning where the arc intersects the line. And you wanna kind of be real precise on this. And then your compass setting here, you don't want it too small, but you don't want it too large where it's off the paper. So somewhere in between. And you usually wanna make this arc on the other side of the line away from the point. It could still be above with it, but you don't want it too close to that point. And then now place your compass at B. Make an arc so it crosses the other one. Okay. And so now all you really need to do is get your straight edge, which is your ruler. Line up those two points like that. So this right here is what you want. There you go, I think we got it. Okay, and then now get your line and then draw that line. You can draw it nice and large if you want to. And so that green line is a perpendicular line to line M. So let's make a nice degree angle right there. So it's not necessarily right down the middle of that line because we didn't ask for a bisector, it's just the perpendicular. And so I'm looking for those three arcs, all right? So maybe write that down. Three arcs is what you need. All right, so we're gonna practice doing some more perpendicular lines with these next two examples. So this example on the top, it says construct a complement of angle B, okay? You have to remember that complement means two angles that add up to 90 degrees. And so there's one of them, and now we need the other one to add up to 90. So there's two ways you can do this, okay? Um, actually, there's only one way, okay? And so the complement is going to be where, and I'm gonna sketch this first, okay? So when you sketch this, you're going to try to figure out a perfect perpendicular line, so that way this is a 90 degree angle because then, this angle right here is the complement of this angle B. Okay, so let me get rid of this for you. So what you need to do first is you need to get your ruler and you need to extend this line right here. So place your ruler right here and let's extend that line. I don't like that line, I need to be right on there. There we go. All right, so I extended that line. And so realize that we wanted perpendicular to go through that red point right there, which is at point B. So what you wanna now do with your compass, and here's a big mistake that a lot of kids do, is they'll go put a point right there and use that. Okay, to make that. Well, you're already estimating that that's a not perfect 90 degree angle. So you're not truly constructing a 90 degree. So I put a red dot because that's where you need to place your compass. And so this is a little bit different example than, our, than the one on the, the other page, but you should still be able to get this done. Okay, so look, we're gonna place our compass on that red dot. Okay, and it's still the same process. I still want to um, make an arc that crosses it twice. Okay, and so here's how we do it. And there's the arc like this, and it crosses it twice. Okay, so the only difference is earlier we had put our compass a little bit higher, and we made an arc, and it crossed it twice. The only difference is we want the, the perpendicular to go through that point that happens to be on the line, and that's okay, you can still make that arc where it crosses it twice. Okay, so now let's label, this point is important over here, and so I wanna mark it red, and then that point is important right there, and I'm gonna mark that one red also. 
I also want to label those. Let's label those A and C. Okay. And so now, following the steps like I did a second ago, I'm going to place my compass at A. And then I want a little bit bigger setting because I want the arcs to be up kind of high. And then I'm going to make an arc right there. Now place your compass at C. Make an arc right there. And so right there where that intersection is, if I place my, comp my uh, straight edge at B and make sure it goes perfectly through that, then I have myself a perfect 90 degree angle using the steps that I use. The only difference was, was that we were making it perpendicular to a point that happened to be on the line, that red point. Okay, but we have a 90 degree angle. Okay, and here's the complement right here. I'm going to kind of color it green. Okay, so this is my complement. Okay, because over here is angle B. This one was angle B. All right, so there we go. Using perpendicular lines to make a complement. Okay, let's look at this next one. The next one, we're constructing a square. And so we're constructing a square because that involves some perpendicular lines, okay? Now it says with side Z, so it's saying that all four sides need to be the length of Z. So you need to recall how to copy a segment. So that's the first thing that I actually wanna do. So I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna draw a long line because I wanna copy that side length, okay? So let's copy and get the width of Z. Make sure you have it perfect with. All right. Once you get that, I'm going to place my compass over here on this endpoint, which that's going to be the start of my my square. So that corner there. And then now I want to make an arc right here. Okay, so where this red point is, okay, that's going to be my bottom side. So let's label our square to be square A, B, C, D. Okay, the letter of the alphabet. So this is going to be A. And this is going to be B so far. So I have side AB. I need the other three sides. So now here's the next step. The next step is that some of y'all are probably going to say, oh, place it on B now and then just make an arc up top. Cannot do that. I need a perfectly perpendicular line. So some of y'all might be thinking, well, let's just get the ruler and make a line going straight up. Can't do that. You have to actually construct it. So we want a perpendicular to go through B. So this is, look. The same thing that we did up here is what we're going to do down here now. So place your compass on B. And then um, make sure it's right on the B. And then shorten up your compass a little bit. We don't want it too big. I'm going to get a different color. And then make an arc so it crosses it twice. Okay, you want it to cross twice so that way you can get those two points that we need. So now we're going to place our compass on those two points. So let's start off on this one first. And oops, let me just do this. So I'm going to place it on that intersection. And I'm going to come up rather high because I don't really want it to be in the picture. And then I'm going to make an arc up top. Now I want to place it on the other intersection point right here. And I'm going to play, make an arc up top. And so now I can get my ruler and connect that red point B to that intersection. Okay, so now I'm going to get my pencil and make an arc going straight up through there. Okay, now notice I made it rather kind of long. Okay. So 
So I made it rather long because I'm going to go have to measure Z again. Because that I have to have an arc. Okay, so you have to show proof of everything. And remember, you're not using centimeters whatsoever. You're you're making a perfect construction with these tools. Okay, so now that I got the width of Z again, I'm going to come over here at B and I'm going to place it right here. And I want to use the color blue just to kind of stick with my pattern. So I'm going to make an arc right there. And so right there, this point, not the green one. Well, where I put the red, that's going to be point C. So, so far I have two of my um, measures, okay? I just need this four, fourth point that's going to be somewhere over here. That's going to be point D. So, where is it going to be? Well, here's how you can figure it out. So, I'm going to get my compass. I'm going to place it at A. And remember, I still have my measure in on my compass. And I'm going to make an arc like this right there. And then I'm going to come over here to C because I know that from C to over here, remember, that's going to be the same size. All of them are going to be the same size. So you see that intersection point. I didn't need to make any more perpendicular lines, but that intersection point, that's going to be my point D. And so now I just need to get my ruler and connect the dots. So I'm going to connect A to D with my pencil. And then now I'm going to connect D to C. And so that's how we make a square. And so let's look and see how many arcs we have here. We have one green one at the bottom, then the blue, that's two. Then I have two green up top, that's four. Then that blue, that's five, six, seven. I have seven arcs. So let's make a note of that. Okay. So we need seven arcs to make the square. You may end up with a little bit more because some people like to do two perpendiculars, like at A and at B. So you'll need to extend that line and make that arc like that, kind of like what we did over there. So some people like to do that, and then they'll have uh, they'll have a little bit different up at the top. All right, and then that's perpendiculars. 